OK, so here's a nice new preview feature from the Excel team. Auto-refreshing pivot tables. So if you have some data, and maybe I say summarize with pivot table, let's just put it right next to it. Move this up, drop the pivot table here, click OK. And then I'll just put name in the rows and cost in the values. OK, and I can just close that window. So there's all the people. But check out what happens if I change Brian to 100. I didn't have to click right click refresh. And check out what happens if I add a new row to this table. Let's add Nev, OK, 10. It's auto updating. So within a pivot table, if you go to pivot table analyze, in this new beta version, OK, and this is a flighted version, so not all beta versions have even got this yet. They do this thing called flighting, where they sample test whether these things cause things to break. So even if you're on beta, you may not have this. But you now have this toggle, auto refresh, which you can turn on and off. Also, under pivot table settings, so you can go right click, OK, pivot table options and data. And it's here automatically refresh when the source data changes. If you open up an existing workbook, auto refresh is off by default. You can set it so if you have it permanently done, so via file, options, OK, and then data, edit default layout, go to pivot table options under data. There we go, it's there as well, automatically refresh when the source data changes. So you can set it at a workbook or permanent level as well, off or on if you like. Um, the one thing I'm not too clear on yet is, let's say I want to put something in the way and then I add another, OK? It doesn't actually error out. And if there's something new, it's not causing me a glitch yet. I'd expect it to give me a warning. So I think that's something they're working on in the testing environment. If you copy paste a pivot table, OK? So there it is, it's copy pasted now. Okay, you can't turn off one pivot table. Because if I turn that one off, this one's also off. If I turn this one back on, this one's also on. You have to do separate what's called pivot caches. So what do I mean by that? Well, you really have to have a separate data um, source. So maybe I refer to this. Okay, and then I get a pivot table off this data. So highlight that and say insert pivot table. OK, from there, it's referring to the hash range. I'm going to put an existing spot just here. And I'll put name again in the rows and cost in the values. And let me just come out of here. So if I change, let's say, Alid to 200, OK, they all change, but I can go to this pivot table, pivot table analyze, turn off auto refresh. Note if I go back to this pivot table, it's on, but on this one, it's off. So therefore, if I now change Alid to 2000, the top one has updated and the bottom one hasn't. So you can do that as well. All right, pretty interesting. You know, what does that mean for group by? I think it replaces group by potentially, um, but different options and pretty interesting development. Like I say, only available in flighted versions of the beta channel. And it's a complete lottery as to whether you're flighted or not. There's no way of controlling that. It's just a lucky day. All right. Hope you like that. Keep watching. I'll let people know when this goes live. Check out the comments below and I'll let you know when this goes out to the current channel. All right. Catch you in the next video.